Hello, welcome to Walking Dead ep Season 2, Episode 2. I did play the other two games. The, my choices of the previous game and episode should be appearing after I stop talking if nothing went wrong. If I don't talk a lot during this game, sorry, it's because it's mostly cutscenes in a way. Um, so let's play. Previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington, then talk to me about cold. I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Uh, would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! No! We have to go! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? Uh. something yeah find something but see that find something uh, maybe at the little girl hold the door of course but whatever she said find something but she sort of wanted herself Sorry about Pete. Whatever. Why'd you leave my uncle? Back at the stream. Why'd you find uh, him? I just did. Well, that was stupid. Well, he was old. The real reasoning is that he was old and old and young, and so. What do we do now? To the younger person. Care. If we're stuck here, we should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. Puzzle time. <laughs> Just 
still. I know what it is. The fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. That rig ain't fit to piss in. Funny gloom time good draw. Never mind. What is that stuff? Let me see. Probably booze. <sighs> Whiskey. Now what? Oh, fuck if I know. We wait, I guess. What? What's she... Just him. What's your problem? I had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, it's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. We'll make it. Bullshit. thinking that this guy looked a lot. We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. Like I said, it'd be funny, but no. Be your first, and your last. <laughs> no thanks. Listen, they're not coming for us. You should go. Run. Why? What? That, that doesn't what make do sense. Do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. They're good people. Oh, that was the comment I about to say. He was always screwing up too. Screwing up? I didn't ask for any of this. Nobody does. But so what? Okay, uh... No. Fine. Right. What do I care if you want to die? Just sit there. You shouldn't care. Don't forget that. Could die. Go. Cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. You could. Okay, so the only. Okay. Just the justification of this is that he could die. 
So he shouldn't come. He's all mopey anyway. And Clem can't die because she's the main character, so it doesn't... Because, like, if... She was, uh... Like, uh... Attacked, and, you know, and she... He probably could die anyway. Stop looking. He's not... I already made the decision. Uh, oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, Sangi's between the new Kenny. And that comment said it. For some reason, I wasn't expecting that. I really should have. Okay. <laughs> no, I failed the two prompts. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! We got attacked. By who? Walkers. Jesus! He got killed. I was with Nick, but... My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you, can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. Uh. And don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. Don't like You'll her. be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. It's an annoying yeah. character. Thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Please? I'm not in the mood. Sorry, I just wanted to cheer you up. Isn't this the best? What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? Okay, yeah, her dad's in it. He'll be fine. Are you sure? Probably. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... Hey, Luke's back. Let's see what... No. Wait, I want to do the... Oh. Can't do the walk into the wall glitch. Well, the invisible wall. Oh, 
Oh. Stop walking slow. Faster. Oh. I had no reason. That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Go and find somewhere to hide. Where? No. Clem, I can't breathe. I can't, I can't breathe. Hello? What's this? Hello there. Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Closed door. Uh... Hello, I'm sorry to disturb you. I only need a couple minutes of your time. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. We have a big group. Lots. Oh? How big? Dozens. They'll be back soon. And they left you here all alone. They must trust you. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I haven't seen them. Well, that's a shame. You sure? Pretty sure. Well, looks like a damn tornado ran through here. Must be like close to ten people with you? More. Hmm. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not <laughs> nuts headed up north. That's probably stupid. Shangri-La. I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Just passing through. Going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. No issue, Paul. Oh. In that Yankee weather. Have you been north? Well, not since before. But I've heard things. She's gonna get her butt kicked if she grabs it. If I ever grab it, she's gonna. Oh. What that's worse. Thing? Uh, in the drawer there. I she had a gun. Well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. I miss him. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later, people close to you will find a reason to cross you. Happens every time. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. I didn't hear anything.
I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Well, it's a kid. Yeah. Looks like it was taken in this room. You have no idea who these people are, do you? Huh. Do you know them? Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? Well, they locked me up in a shed. If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Uh. Wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. Oh, no. Where is he? He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine, Sarah, you were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Did he say his did name? the opposite. Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Did he say his name? I don't remember. Oh, wait. You don't remember? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was... Droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. All right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. It was Sarah's idea. Oops, no, I didn't mean that. I don't care whose idea it was. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, come on. Now, you said it was just up here? 
Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. It's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. You might not be. Nick! Could have starved. Get the door. Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Clem, I just wanted to say, you were right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Pete. Yeah, thanks. No, it's the same mission. What happened back there in that cellar? He do something stupid? Like he can tell me. I'm just looking out for him. He got drunk. I was scared. God damn it, Nick. I'm worried about that kid. Just in a great hour, would baseball. you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know. Isn't it great? Everybody's walking rough. exactly the same yeah, pace. I can't make any promises. It won't get rougher. But we all know you now. We may not be perfect, but we look out for each other. I don't have anywhere else to go. She might as well. Welcome to the party. Yeah, thanks. We're, uh, we're smarter than we look. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. <laughs> 